Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having an Aquarius sun and a Pisces ascendant in a natal chart. Now, these signs are adjacent by signs, so I see them as neutral. Aquarius sun, okay, Aquarius is masculine. It's an extroverted sign, can be very gregarious, have strong humanitarian instincts, really is like the, I call it the universal friend uh, syndrome person. And uh, it really is, it could be very outgoing and makes friends very readily. You know, a Pisces ascendant, Pisces is feminine and is introverted. This person is likely to be maybe a little bit more a passive, a little bit more timid, or or not quite as, as engaging as the typical uh, sun in Aquarius. There might be more of a need for solitude or seclu and or seclusion uh, as opposed to the typical sun in Aquarius, more by yourself time, uh, so to speak. Now, looking at this combination, this is a combination I see as it can be very philanthropic. A sun in Aquarius could be very a humanitarian. And you have, um, and you have a, a Pisces ascendant that could be very compassionate and very giving about philanthropy. So you have the, this combination, which is and an, could show a strong need uh, for helping others. And this Aquarius humanitarian nature can strongly combine with the, the compassionate Pisces ascendant in wanting to to perhaps give selflessly to those. Uh, and that show that Aquarius selflessness and, and give selflessly perhaps to those often that are less fortunate, which is a really can be a strongly equated with Pisces, just such as uh, the less fortunate, such as the oppressed, the uh, in, impoverished, impoverished, the homeless, for example. Now, the sun in our natal charts can represent our basic wants, while the rising sign or ascendant can represent the manner or method in which one attains these basic wants. So having a sun in Aquarius, the sun in Aquarius basic wants can be connected with freedom, friendship, doing things for the collective good, sometimes global efforts even, being different or unique, uh, being part of a group, uh, reform, uh, per things that are progressive and goal oriented as Aquarius uh, sun could be uh, very strong, can emphasize goals and, and perhaps aspirations as well in having a pisces ascendant this person may attain one or more of these aquarius sun basic wants perhaps through uh, pisces compassion through through empathy perhaps even being somewhat uh, in, intuitive in, in, in being uh, perhaps uh, empathic to some degree and maybe finding uh, for example maybe finding the, the things that are the friendships by seeing the whole picture, Pisces rising is generally not uh, one that is um, necessarily enamored with details or always good at it, but Pisces ascendant could be very good with seeing the whole picture in situations. And that could be, that could apply to uh, attaining uh, that Aquarius sun basic wants as far as friend uh, friendships go. And if Aquarius sun also can be uh, as far as, um, being a part of a group, they may also use some of that, that Pisces instinct and intuition to find those those groups that, that are very suitable for them. And uh, even uh, things uh, connected uh, with freedom, uh, freedom issues can be very strong with Aquarius and perhaps having Pisces ascendant, this person may attain maybe this freedom, maybe by, by wanting, they want freedom perhaps uh, to, to maybe uh, to go into their fantasy world every so often, such as maybe even going into a fantasy book, uh, watching fantasy movies or films, maybe through video games, just through going into kind of their, their, own, their own world and sometimes into solitude or seclusion, as I stated before, that the person with, with this Aquarius Sun person may very readily be more introverted and introspective as opposed to the typical uh, Sun in Aquarius. And the, as far as the goal-oriented uh, aspirations thing, uh, Sun and Aquarius basic wants are concerned, well, this may be uh, attained maybe through a Pisces-like uh, career, maybe uh, endeavors such as photography, uh, filmography, something connected with illusions such as being illusionist, a magician working in special effects, maybe doing something 
connected with uh, spirituality, something pharmaceutical, the metaphysical, such as uh, astrology, uh, doing something with chemistry, doing something connected with like maybe fantasy, writing something creative, and even even dancing. And, and having Aquarius Sun, this person might inject their, their own unique uh, style uh, into this uh, as well. And that's really as far as, um, but what's important too to look at with the Sun and Aquarius and Pisces Ascendant is to look at the aspect, if any, that is made between these energies. Is this could indicate uh, whether these energies may integrate well or not integrate uh, so well. Now, for for this combination, uh, if you have a, you can have an out of sign sextile take place between uh, these energies and which could be considered auspicious and, and positive even though they may be neutral by sign if you have the sextile aspect for example let's say if you have an Aquarius Sun at, uh, at one degree and a Pisces ascendant at 29 degrees that would form a sextile aspect so even though they're still neutral by sign you might have a little better positive integration or blending of these energies with the sextile aspect now you could also have a semi sextile aspect take place let's say that you have the Aquarius Sun at 24 degrees and a Pisces ascendant at 24 degrees well that would form a semi sextile aspect, which is like I described with the uh, with the sextile, but not quite as intense or strong because it is a minor aspect. Now you could also have uh, on the negative side, you can have a semi square aspect take place, which is an adverse minor aspect. Let's say the Aquarius Sun is at 12 degrees and the Pisces Ascendant is at 27 degrees. Well, that would form uh, a semi-square aspect, which I call slightly adverse, because it's it, you could have um, you could have a little conflict of energy uh, with this, and even if this person is not cognizant of his or her astrological placements, this could indicate some possible feelings of being misconstrued or misunderstood by others due to the fact that what this person is projecting outwardly they may feel strongly different than what is going on inside which can cause some feelings of exasperation and tension but not as strong as a negative uh, a, 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 a major negative as adverse aspect so anyway a conjunction aspect is also possible with these energies let's say if you have the Aquarius Sun at 28 degrees and a Pisces ascendant at 2 degrees that would form a conjunction and you would have a very intense uh, integration uh, of these energies working uh, working together perhaps so that is really uh, that's really the way to describe that now it's also important to look at the house placement uh, that the, the Sun and Aquarius is in because even though it was superficially anyway uh, the Sun I mean I'm sorry the Pisces ascendant may suppress or, or camouflage that Sun and Aquarius energy to some degree the Sun and Aquarius energy may come out at least somewhat prominently in that particular house it is posited in so let's say that the Sun in Aquarius is posited in the 10th house. Well, being an angular house, this energy may come out a little stronger as opposed to it being the 11th or 12th. And that Aquarius Sun energy may come out strongly in matters connected with reputation, uh, perhaps in their livelihood or career. And uh, they, they might bring that eclectic or in, in really unorthodox quality in these matters. or even uh, perhaps with uh, matters with authority uh, figures, they might have their own uh, way of relating to them that could be very unique and maybe somewhat unorthodox. For So anyway, if the Sun in Aquarius is posited in the 11th house, well, this could give a little bit of a double emphasis of Aquarius energy because the 11th house does correspond with Aquarius. And this person might put that strong cerebral, that strong uh, mental ability, and perhaps bring that eclectic quality perhaps in their friendships with acquaintances. And it might come out perhaps in their aspirations and um in their goals so uh, and it might and this person might have some unorthodox or unconventional aspirations and goals because of this now if it's in the 12th house well the 12th house it, this energy might be suppressed more to some degree because the 12th house is a cadent house and I think especially if you have planets in the 12th house the energy could be somewhat hidden and is not expressed as prominently so 
uh, that Sun and Aquarius energy might come out more strongly in private, behind the scenes matters, perhaps in, in seclusion, in solitude, uh, only around very, very close people, uh, perhaps. So, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having the Sun and Aquarius in a Pisces ascendant in a natal chart. And stay tuned next time, where I'll be dissertating and talking about having the sun and Pisces in an Aries ascendant in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.